What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Six time NBA champion and five time MVP Michael Jordan has come out with a statement regarding the murder of George Floyd. He said, uh, We've had enough. We as a black people have had enough of this ingrained injustice that has been going on with people of color at the hands of law enforcement. You know, he says that we've all got to come together with collective voices to stem the tide of this uh, racial divide that's going on in the United States right now. That's the first time uh, a lot of people have heard Michael Jordan has come out and speak against uh, in unequal justice regarding people of color. You know, during his playing days with the Chicago Bulls, he had a famous quote saying, uh, I can't say anything and try to get anything politically that can uh, mess with my brand. He basically he made a quote saying that uh, Republicans buy sneakers too when uh, when they was asking him about a, a race that was going on, a political race, a senatorial race, I believe, that was going on in uh, North Carolina with a, 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 a rising black prominent uh, politician was running against Jesse Helms, a well-known, notorious racist in the political history. And Michael Jordan refused to come out and endorse the uh, the black politician that was running against Jesse Hams. You know, he made he said he made the quote in jest. He was just joking, saying you know he didn't. He said he thought he, he felt his uh, statement was taken out of context. He made it in jest. He was not. It wasn't a, some kind of serious statement that he was making. But throughout Michael Jordan's uh, playing career, he he stayed pretty neutral in regards to social issues. But now since his playing days are over, but he is the owner of the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, you know, uh, you know, he is the owner there for the Charlotte Hornets, a team that presides in the Eastern Conference. And uh, this is the first time, and he's holding, he's holding, he he does his his voice does hold a lot of weight, you know, through his playing days and now his ownership, and he has come out and uh, made these uh, statements. Now that's a, kudos to Michael Jordan, and I think a lot of other prominent uh, athletes and entertainers need to come out and make statements. Also, Oprah Winfrey, where you at? P Diddy, where you at? You know, Jay-Z, where you at? Drake, where are you at? Denzel Washington, where are you at? Jack Nicholson, where are you at? Justin Timberlake, where are you at? A lot of these uh, people that people listen to, a lot of people follow their careers, you know, hold what they have to say as a, with weight and gold. And I think that a lot of these people need to come out and uh, make statements about the injustice, the murder of George Floyd. But again, kudos to Michael Jordan who has, uh, has stepped out the box that he had put himself into during his playing career and has made a statement condemning the murder of George Floyd at the hands of a, a rogue policeman who uh, choked the life out of him, uh, allegedly behind a fake $20 monetary money. Fake $20 bill, which the, which the uh, owner of the store said that uh, George Floyd gave him a fake 20. And who did who, who say the owner knew that that money was fake? Maybe money was real. That's a he said, she said situation. And George Floyd lost his life behind that situation. So hopefully justice will be served. The, uh, the other three officers need to be arrested ASAP. For them not to be arrested is a is a criminal at, criminal at, right now. For not for them not to have uh, been arrested. The, uh, the one... Uh, Officer that's responsible for George Floyd's death has been arrested, charged with third degree murder and manslaughter. In my opinion, it should have been first degree, but I know the you know how, how the justice system works. They try to uh, start off with a lesser crime, which would give them which would give them a better chance of prosecution. Prosecution, but that was first degree murder. Man sat on his neck, put he had his knee on his neck for nine minutes. That's premeditated right there. Maybe two or three minutes if he took it off and he passed away, you'd be like, well, I was just trying to control him and me can make excuses like that. I was trying to control him and subdue him and, and I thought, I didn't know I, you know, you know, two or three minutes with my knee on his neck would uh, take his life. But nine minutes, nine minutes, that's first degree murder in my opinion. And the other three guys, the other three officers need to be charged with accessory. So, uh, and I hope their, their uh, arrest will be coming shortly. If not, you know, you see what's going on in these streets right now. People are not happy with the situation at hand. And the uh, Minnesota Police Department need to find justice for uh, George Floyd and his family.
behind this senseless, senseless killing of an unarmed black man. Leave your comments in the comment section what you think about Michael Jordan commenting on the George Floyd murder, saying that uh, we as a people have had enough in the ingrained uh, racism that has infected the, the uh, criminal justice system needs to be fixed, needs to be attended to. It's been going on for way too many long. Not only the George Floyd death, but look at Armand Aubrey. Look at Breonna Taylor. Look at Trayvon Martin. You know what I'm saying? Look at it's been going on for a long, long time. And we as a people have had enough. And Michael Jordan, I give kudos to him for speaking out and uh in uh, speaking out against uh systematic racism that has been going on far too long in the United States of America. So leave your comments in the comment section. What you think about Michael Jordan? Comment. Do you think he should uh, back his words with actions? Or do you think his uh, words he, he said is a good first step and he needs to uh, take the second, third, and fourth step and uh, with his uh, influence try to, um, you know, influence change and uh, get together like he said collectively with him and other prominent leaders in the African community, get together and, and, and push for change and hopefully uh, George Floyd death will not be in vain and we get uh, what we've been looking for for a long time. And that's equal justice for everybody here in the United States, no matter your uh, your creed, your color, or social status. You you are your your your, uh, your justice applies to you just like it applies to uh, white people, Caucasian people. It applies to black people. It applies to Asian people. It applies to Hispanic people. It applies to Indian people. Equal justice for every person in here in the United States of America. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.